Welcome back everybody, I'm your host Kelly Sparks. Today I will be reviewing a viewer suggestion by Mr. Andre Howard. This will be the Balvini, Balvini Double Wood 12 year old. So, I found a little three pack of these so I'm going to do these three got the uh, Balvenie Double Wood 12, Caribbean Cast 14, and Double Wood 17. I also have the Balvenie Peat Week 14 year, uh, 14 year, so I'll have that in there as well. I've already done a review on that one, but eh, I'll do it again. But before I get into that, I've got a special treat that I'm going to do. First, I'm not going to drink this, but I am going to show you guys what I'm going to be doing over the course of the next three weeks. If it'll come open. Should have done this beforehand like somebody else suggested. So, what I got here bottle of Lafroy 10 year old obviously you can see that but I also found these they're called whiskey elements signature flavor 100% natural better whiskey in 24 hours on the back it recommends not to leave it in there more than three weeks for whatever reasons so it says it's uh, says it'll add smooth flavor full body and extra characters to it so I've always wanted to try to get bourbon drinkers over to drinking scotch and I think this is one way it's got two of these little oak spires in it and you only use one per so I'm gonna go ahead and drop this one in down you go cap it and it is right now it is 2 6 p.m. on November 6 2018 so we're gonna let that one hang out for a few weeks so, oops, gotta get my points let that one hang out for a few weeks and see what happens to it and we might just do a little tasting on it weekly and see what kind of changes we get I'll end up picking up another bottle of Lafroy 10 so we can do a comparison so I've done that in the past but why not do it again? Somebody, somebody just commented. Should have called it proper 10 because he couldn't make it to the 12th round. They're still commenting on that proper number 12 video. It's hilarious. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and read off from the Balvenie website. 2018 marks the 25th anniversary of the Balvenie Doublewood. Aged 12 years. This milestone is not only a testament to the craftsmen who have dedicated their working lives to making Balvenie the handcrafted way but to the skill of our malt master, who throughout his 55 year career, it's pretty awesome, has changed the face of Scotch. Work which earned him an MBE in 2016. So, Doublewood 12 was launched in 1993 using a process designed by our own, by our malt, malt master, David Stewart in 1982, now commonly known as wood finishing. Mmm, smells good. To make the Balvany Double Wood, David Stewart takes whiskey that has spent at least 12 years in traditional whiskey casks, American oak, ex bourbon barrels, and hogsheads, and moves it to Spanish oak, ex Oloroso sherry casks for an additional nine months. The whiskey is then transferred to large oak vessels called tons for three to four months to allow the whiskeys from individual casks to marry. Because we all know from cask to cask, you're going to get different flavors. The Balvany Doublewood Single Malt Whiskey gains its distinctive character from being matured in two different wood types. Each stage lends different qualities to the resulting single malt whiskey. It really does smell good. The traditional casks soften and add delicate character. The sherry wood brings depth and fullness of flavor. And the final few months in our tons allow the whiskeys to marry harmoniously. So, on the nose... It's very sweet. A little bit of fruit, more likely from the sherry. 
touch of leather. Just, it smells really good. I get a heavy vanilla on the palate right off the bat. Maybe that was just the first one. This one's bottled at 43%, as is most single malts. No, still pretty much the same. I immediately get the sherry on that second one. Got some fruity notes. A little bit of oak on the back end. Maybe a touch of cinnamon. Slightly oily in the glass, and it's very, very uh, golden in color. So I, I don't believe that this one has had any food coloring like some distilleries do. We won't name names. All in all, it's a very enjoyable whiskey. I mean, I would, uh, I would not rate it extremely high. Availability is more than likely available everywhere. I think this is their their base model where you should be able to find it in most retail outlets yeah it's just so heavy with the sherry or at least that's what I'm getting all right so since I went through all that, I'm going to go ahead and read the tasting notes, see if I picked up anything. So the nose is sweet fruit and Oloroso sherry notes layered with honey and vanilla. I got the vanilla on the palate. Uh, taste is smooth and mellow, beautifully combined flavors, nutty sweetness, cinnamon spiciness, and a delicate proportions layer of sherry. The finish is long and warming. And the finish is long. So, long and strong. I get like a soapiness to it on this third, on this last nosing. And that might just be the barley. I have a, with me, there's a common theme with single malts and specifically single malts from specific areas. Like it has a waxy nose, like a waxy almost soapiness to it. Yeah. I mean, all in all, that's an enjoyable drink. I think I might have to give this one a, I'm, I'm kind of sitting between a seven and a half and an eight. So I'm gonna have to start breaking it down. I might have to go to a 100 point scale like the other whiskey channels. So I'm gonna go with a I'm going to go with the 7.7. We'll keep to the points, but I'm thinking like this is this is almost an 8. Depending on the weather and what you ate prior, it could push it over or push it under. So this is just a nice little, I feel like this would be a springtime scotch with as light and as floral and fruity as it is. So I recommend it. Uh, Pick it up, check it out, let me know what you think. I think it's good. On the box, I wasn't reading it, I promise. I'm going to go ahead and full closure here. It says, double wood 12, smooth and mellow with nutty sweetness, cinnamon spiciness, and a delicately proportioned layer of sherry. So, it's got that stuff on the side. Um, and by the way, I know some of you might ask, well, what, help, what happened to the peat week from Delica Slang? Well, it's coming up. Uh, someone asked me to hold off. They're going to be coming into town later this week. And they've asked to uh, review it with me. So I'm going to respect their wishes. And we'll more than likely post that one on Friday or Saturday. So 
But I think that's all I got with this one. It's a solid scotch. Tastes great in your mouth. Scotch, scotch, scotch. So don't forget to check out Beard and Idiot's podcast. We'll have a new episode coming out this coming Sunday. We just released episode 25. It's ridiculous. We, we talk about a lot of the comments that were posted on the proper number 12 video. So we get a good laugh out of that. Uh, don't forget check out uh, my page Son of Thor Three if you want to if you want to send me a personal message and request something that's probably the easiest way to do it. Some of these comments get lost. Uh, also, please check out my Patreon if anything might fit your budget. You can help out. I'd appreciate it greatly. Uh, hopefully, one day I can make this channel into something great, and uh, we'll go from there. So. That's all I got, folks. Like always, drink some whiskey, share it with your friends and family, and have a nice day. Cheers. It's really good.